Hi everyone, welcome to In Command with Sam. Today I'm going to teach you what I call command module number one, which is basically just signing into KW Command for the first time, uh, going over a uh, very brief overview of what all the tools do for you, and then connecting a couple of the key apps that are gonna help you as we move forward into step two of uh, basic training. Uh, now to log into KW Command, and if this is your first time coming to the website, the address that you wanna go to is agent dot kw.com which you'll see up here and that's agent singular dot kw.com uh, super important that you don't hit the s in there agents dot kw because i'll send you to kw commercial but you're going to log in with your keller williams credentials so that is usually uh, your first initial your first initial and your last name sometimes you'll have a number like i do uh, this is not your full-blown keller williams um, email address, this is your username. So for me, that's sjackson49, uh, and then my password's the same one that I use to log into my KW, uh, into Kelly, uh, all of the Keller Williams One login accounts. Uh, so once you're here, you're gonna click on sign in. Now, because I am not a new user, you're gonna see something a little bit different from uh, your screen to mine. Uh, you're gonna probably have a blank task sheet here, but this is where your tasks will go. So if I am creating a follow-up for a contact or if there's something that I need to do that's linked to a particular opportunity, uh, meaning that uh, you know if I deliver a Dropbox to a, a house or a listing, uh, it'll show up right here on my task bar. Now this is what we're calling your main home page. So I have my tasks here. I have my product updates as well. So this is telling me what's going on through KW Command. So the great folks at uh, Keller Williams International in Austin, Texas are in the innovative seat. They are driving real estate technology as we speak. So you're gonna see a lot of weekly updates that happen and it happens really, really fast. Now I know if you're just logging in for the first time with KW Command, it feels like there's a lot of change going on. Uh, and the key thing is, is that there's change change all around us. We're seeing it at a very, very high level across every single industry. So um, I hate to say it, but kind of get used to being adaptable because uh, this is not the finished product with command. We are far from that, um, but we will get there. Now you will see that after my product updates, I have two more things down here on the bottom. I have my database health score, which tells me uh, out of all the contacts I have, how many of them have a good phone number, an email, an address, and a neighborhood on their contact card? Now, don't worry. Um, I will share another video on how to create contacts and how to uh, complete a 100% score. But this is something to be mindful in the future that you may want to create uh, a 135 or a GPS on how to get your database, database health score uh, up above 80%, even 100. Now, the other thing that I have here on my notepad is just basically a scribble space for me. So if I want to keep a note for myself, uh, I can keep it safe here in the cloud. It's nice storage. I'm not going to lose uh, a bunch of uh, sticky notes like most people have over their desk or logged on their computer. This can just be your notepad for general use. Uh, and I have a couple examples here of uh, pick flowers up for my wife and make sure I put out my open house signs for this weekend, uh, which is also something technically I could do as a task. Okay, now before we jump into KW Command, one of the key things that I really wanna share with you is that this whole platform was built on Google Chrome. So you're gonna have the best experience uh, with the Google Chrome versus any other browser. So if you're using Internet Explorer, if you are using uh, Mozilla Firefox or uh, Apple Safari product, you're gonna run into a problem at some point in time and it's usually because of the browser that you have. Uh, one of the other things too is that we're gonna have issues with Chrome and one of the key things to keep uh, in mind or be mindful of is that if you'll notice on the top right hand side, I have three dots here when I'm in Google Chrome. You may see an up arrow, which means that you need to update your Google Chrome just like you would like a normal app. Uh, that sometimes will be enough to fix some of the problems that you're experiencing with your, uh, with your uh, processes within uh, KW Command. So just be mindful of that. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to access additional training, what the applets look like, and then we're gonna get into connecting the apps you'll need to be successful through Command. So I am in the leadership version, so uh, if you do not see this cloud more feature, do not worry, that's specifically for market center leadership. Uh, connect, when I click on this, will take me to basically the resources page of Keller Williams. You're gonna see a lot of the groups, uh, potential training that will be here for you as well in KW Command. Uh, you'll see all the different uh, groups that I belong to as well as the ability to kind of post and uh, communicate with them. So eventually this will kind of keep you off of Facebook, get you out of those distractions that we can communicate from agent to agent without those distractions. And to go back, I'm just gonna bounce on KW Command, click on that again. 
So if you find yourself in this page, uh, you don't have to leave. Uh, you're just on the wrong spot. Go back to command to access your dashboard. Now, this is a really cool update that I wasn't even aware of until a few minutes ago. If I click this red Keller Williams uh, logo, it's not going to take me back to the home page of command, but we'll, what it will do is actually expand what each of my tools are here on the left-hand side. So I encourage you, today is September the 13th when I'm recording this video. Uh, you may see a different look in the future. We've had some changes to this home page, but if you're ever curious as to what's going on, just take a look at each of these tools, click around, and you will not be disappointed with the amazing features that are being uploaded and updated every single day. Uh, so contacts, basically, when you talk about every other comp competitor and competition that we have out there, uh, they brag about the amazing features they have with your CRM, that's one piece of what we do, and it's just this first one right here. Tasks, uh, this is where you can keep organized, you can create your success list, your to-do list within KW. Smart plans is where we will build out our entire drip campaigns and drip automation, including calls, texts, and emails in the short, uh, short future here. Referrals is where I, can, uh, where I can connect with referrals. So if I want to search for an agent in Sandwich, Massachusetts, Shout out to any of you who are watching from Sandwich. Uh, this is how I find uh, the top agents. And like I said, we're gonna do videos on each of these, but opportunities, this is where we're creating our transactions, our digital whiteboard of all of my clients that are in the sales pipeline. Campaigns, campaigns is great for advertising on social media, postcards, uh, doing free posts as well, kind of like a Hootsuite tool. Uh, and then we're gonna have some really cool advanced features to things like reports where we're gonna see what are my CGI goals, what do I wanna make for this year, and what activities are going into it. Uh, I know this is gonna be one of the key features that's going to be updated here in the near future if you're tuning into the Connect Live webinars on a regular basis. Uh, designs, if you're familiar with Canva or other design tools, this is kind of layering on top of ads. Uh, Josh team said at uh, Femarina they have a goal to have I think a thousand uh, different templates that we have in place here and kind of recycle those and, and reward the most popular that we have. And then we have some cool things coming in the future with listings. Uh, the amazing team at KWRI is working on KWLS 2.0. Uh, so this is where we're going to see kind of the advanced listing system that's gonna make our life easier from a platform standpoint, meaning that what we do as an agent will also connect with our consumers on the other side of uh, the experience. Insights is kind of like Google Maps, but, uh, but better in my opinion. So when you're adding a local insight to KW Command and to the Kelly platform, what I'm saying is think about becoming a local expert. Think about being the mayor of the town that you are in or the town that you're farming and pick up where Google Maps leads off. So if you can add a cool insight like a basketball court, a playground, a swimming pool, a tennis court in the community, you can't find that on Google. Uh, make sure you put those wonderful local insights that can help families and, uh, and others um, find the perfect dream home. And then landing pages is kind of game changing in my opinion. We're gonna do a lot of videos on these in the future and if you are logged into the KDB Command Facebook group, you're gonna see some amazing feedback from agents rocking and rolling here. And then listing consult, stay tuned. I don't have much information on this. I just know it's gonna be dynamite. Now, the key thing that I wanna leave with you today is that we can click on this help button. Anytime that you are having trouble, uh, I can go to Keller Williams University, chat with support if I truly have a bug, and I can also post an idea. So if there's something that you love within KDB Command, uh, or something you love with your other platform you would like to see change in KDB Command, give some feedback. We're seeing some uh, really amazing things as we're developing and plugging away with this. But to do that, you just click on the help button. Now, what I wanna do and what I want you to do once you're done watching this video is click on your name in the top right hand corner and go to your settings. One of the first things that I think you should do as an agent using KDB Command is connect the apps that you plan to use in the future. So you'll see that I have a few of them that are already uh, connected, uh, which are Porch, Twilio, and then once DocuSigns loads, this will be up there as well. But you can come in and attach your Facebook business page, your Twitter accounts, your Google Calendar, MailJet, Gmail, everything that you want to uh, connect to uh, KW Command in the future. Now, there are some things that connect now, and we'll see plugins in the future. But if you are using one of these tools, just go ahead and do it. So I think the most important for you today would be at least uh, Facebook if you have a business page. And you'll see here that in the... Um, in the parentheses, we have it saying uh, post scheduling, which means that this is the connecting uh, my Facebook business page in which I can post for free. That's right, so I can connect my Facebook account and not pay a dime through KDB Command. I'm just gonna click connect account, 
And if you are signed into Facebook somewhere else on your computer, you're going to be good to go. You select which page you want to advertise to. So if you have multiple multiple pages, you can pick which one. And for today, I'll just click my market center, which is Keller Williams North Atlanta, and I'll click connect. That'll take a second. I do not use Twitter professionally. I'm going to leave that uh, unconnected. However, I do use Google Calendar, so I'm going to click Connect Account. Anson asked me which calendar do I use. So I have three separate uh, Gmail accounts. Uh, however, my one with the KW um, email address is the one that I use primarily. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to read uh, and kind of assign my life away without looking, but I trust the folks at uh, Keller Williams and Google. Probably shame on me. And I'm going to keep going scrolling down. So the next one here is MailJet. This is an interesting one that you may not be familiar with. Uh, definitely connect this one. Uh, and when you do, you're going to click Connect Account. It's going to pop up a window. And basically right now, we're using MailJet as kind of like a temporary, maybe permanent uh, email solution until we find a stronger email provider. But right now, as you send some of the smart plans and uh, MNN, which stands for Monthly Neighborhood Nurture, uh, they're coming from an address that says no reply at kw.com. Basically, what you want to type in this box is the reply to email. So if I'm sending out a neighborhood watch I'm, and my client or lead potentially clicks on it uh, and they're responding to the email, this is where I will receive their response. So Sam Jackson at kw.com. And if you have any questions, if you're a follower and subscriber to these videos, feel free to uh, reach out to me. Uh, I do run with an office of uh, over 400 agents, so I do work in a pretty timely manner. Uh, but any questions uh, from other market centers, feel free to shoot me an email and I'll get back to you. All right. Just moving along, if you have eEdge, you can connect it. Um, to be honest with you, I have eEdge. I would recommend doing this the nitty gritty way. Uh, I have some uh, other videos on how to clean up your database from eEdge. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll send a link once that's up as well in the uh, description below. And then as I scroll down, I'm going to click on marketing automation. So I've already connected Facebook from a post scheduling standpoint, which means I can post to Facebook for free. When I see this ads manager that's highlighted, that means this is my ability to advertise or kind of like you're probably used to like boosting posts on Facebook. I'm going to click connect more. And this is going to allow me to choose what page. I'm going to click connect actually. Uh, and I'm going to log into my personal uh, Facebook profile. No worries there. This is just me logging in. That doesn't mean I'm going to advertise to that page. It's just the account associated with Facebook. Again, I'm going to skip Twitter. I do not advertise or practice anything there, but I'll connect Google AdWords and I'll say that, hey, Google AdWords uh, handles all of the payment activity. So please make sure that you are up to date with your card that's on the Google Ads account. So uh, what that tells me is that you have to have a Google Ads account already established before you can connect this. And I do. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to select which account, which is my personal one, which I've done this through and set it up. And then I'm going to click allow, follow the buttons more or less, and you are good to go. Oh, got to select. There we go. Now, I did skip a few. I am connected to a few others like um, Porch uh, and Twilio and also DocuSign once that kicks in. Uh, I'm going to show you some other steps on how to do this. These are a little bit more advanced. But the things that you want to set up today are definitely your Facebook, your Gmail, your Google Calendar, and MailJet without a doubt today. All right, so congratulations. You have uh, officially passed step number one for getting logged in, signed in, and connected with uh, KDB Command. Uh, the next video series that I definitely recommend is connecting your marketing profile. So if you're following along, step one, getting signed in, connecting your app. Step two, which will be the next video series linked in here, will be uh, connecting and creating your marketing profile in KDB Command. Uh, I'm Sam Jackson, Director of Innovation Technology for Keller Williams North Atlanta. Uh, thanks for watching today. Subscribe to uh, In Command with Sam and uh, click on the notification button to make sure that you're up to date with all the videos that we post. Thanks and stay in command.